Unexplained riots in Canada. Riot police deployed in affected cities. A series of random riots have occurred in the city. I am so proud of my zombies right now. Not only because they're taking over my home nation, but also because look, they've learned to write. They know math. It might only be one plus one, but that's really difficult when you eat more brains than you have. What's up guys, welcome back to Infectinator 3. So many of you guys have been asking what happened to this series, because I made three episodes and I said that I wanted to play more, but then it just kind of stopped. And the reason for that is because I really wanted to show you guys everything that the game has to offer, but I can't really do that in one playthrough. Like the game is designed so that you have to play through it over and over and you have to do a lot of grinding to unlock these achievements and get access to cool stuff. And I don't really want to do more than one playthrough on the channel because it would just get long and drawn out and repetitive. And because of that, I was put into a weird situation. I could either play through it once and then anything that I didn't unlock, you guys would just never see. Or I could grind off camera and then you guys would miss out on part of our campaign to destroy the world. And I didn't really like either of those options. So what I did was I started a new save file. I grinded over there quite a bit. And that way we can pick up right where we left off. Nothing has changed except we should now have access to all of the unlockables, like the news reporter lady outfits, which I'm sure are gonna be well worth the wait. So for anybody who needs a quick recap as to what's happened in this world already, because it's like I said, it's been a while, Southeast Asia decided that they were gonna try to come up with a cure to our zombie infection. And we weren't gonna have any of that, so now they're decimated. <laughs> then North Africa decided that they were gonna follow suit, and they quickly followed suit, and now South America's piped up. So we need to find a way down there. We could go through Western Africa, or we could try Mexico. I think I can probably get into Mexico City. Okay, kill five humans using Jar of Goo, use three landmines, spawn three unique zombies. I don't think we have any work to do in the lab right now. Can't unlock any more upgrades. I don't have enough for new DNA. Zombie lineup is looking strong. I might need, yeah, I might need to buy a few more landmines, burgers, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think we should be good to go. Is it just me or are there a lot of fully armored police officers and SWAT team members running around this Mexican grocery store? Like, this is the thing, the difficulty in this game ramps up exponentially. Everybody has weapons all of a sudden. It's absolutely ridiculous, but I need to do the challenges anyway. So we need to kill five people with a jar of goo. And we're probably gonna put multiple things of goo down. Oh crap, no, 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 we need zombies. We need zombies or everything is gonna end. Did we do it? And then we need to use a bunch of landmines. I don't think I need to kill people with the landmines, do I? I think it just said use three landmines. Okay, landmines have been used. Even if my own zombies run over them, sure, you guys are expendable. <laughs> I think that was everything, hopefully. Hey, there we go. <laughs> you see what I mean? Well worth the wait. I'm sorry that we went to a grocery store and not a beach. Maybe a beach next time, be far more fitting. Let's see what we get. Common zombies and pretty much nothing else. Lovely. I feel like my zombies are just a little bit too weak. So how about we upgrade their attack twice? I like that. Okay, support items are still looking fine. I think I need to craft 15 zombies for more gold. That's the thing, you have to always be on top of the achievements. It's very important to get all of the money you possibly can. So how about we try to craft a bunch of uh, lobbers? Oh God, they look like some kind of gross little olive man. <laughs> So this is a combo one. I need to combine a toxic zombie and a clown zombie to make a blobber. And then a toxic zombie is made out of basic zombies. Okay, so we can craft a bunch of you. It's so weird to think that we're taking three normal zombies and then doing something to them to turn them into this toxic zombie. I, I don't even want to think of the logistics of it. But now, because we have all of them, we can craft you. Yay, there we go, craft 16 zombies for 4,000 gold. You see what I mean? That's a whole lot of money. That might be an entire other upgrade. Mutation chance? Yeah, sure, why not? Whoa, what is going on now? You're looking very military-esque. <laughs> you see what I mean? Every time she pops up in the news, she's wearing something different. Civilians have formed militia groups. Oh, great. 
Make zombies human again. Come on. World panic is increasing. Lovely. Oh, and the cure is going up. It's at 36% now. I really want to go into the boss fight. I don't know what's going on over here, but at the same time, we can't be having any cures. Am I finally down here? Yes, I finally have access to it. Okay, kill 10 humans using a grenade. I can do that. Gather 1,500 coins, spawn 80 zombies. I don't know how many people there are going to be in Caracas, but we can try. How am I supposed to spawn 80 zombies out of 21 people? Doesn't make any sense. We're, we're, people just keep taking pizza out of their pockets and, and reading love poetry. <laughs> They're surrounded by weapons. Okay, we need to kill people with grenades. Like that? Was that 10? That felt like uh, the whole lot for sure. I don't know if it was 10 or not. I'm definitely not gonna get enough zombies. Let's uh, summon Il Kim Jong. How about that? I don't even need to use all my special zombies. I could just have them hang out. Oh, look at that. We got a clown as well. You see, mutation chance is great. Gives you just a random opportunity to get a stronger zombie rather than a base zombie when you infect somebody. We good? There are a whole lot of brains and bits scattered about the park, so I think we're good. Okay. So we don't have enough DNA for our next upgrade, but I wouldn't mind leveling up our basic zombie. Another level three. So pretty much all of the zombies that we're gonna get from infecting people should now be a little bit stronger. I think that's well worth the investment. Now, how is the world doing? Cure has gone up again, 48%. We really need to hammer away at this. Even though I have played quite a bit of the game now, I still don't have the strategy like down pat. I have a pretty good idea. I know that you can like just spam all your really strong zombies and then you'll very quickly be done with a level like this one, but I just don't really know the best way of going about approaching all of the world. Like, should you focus on one continent at a time? Should you spread out and infect a little bit everywhere? Because like the panic level is the issue and I don't know what really raises world panic faster. I, I didn't look into it, but maybe I'll figure it out at some point. Oh, we got a chubby. Okay, not too bad. Still not killing enough humans or spawning enough zombies. I need to go to a more populated area to finish off these challenges. This is against my better judgment, but I think we're gonna try the boss battle because he is a uh, super hentai red? What? What does that have to do with a box head? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> I was gonna say, he's in Asia. There should be a lot of people in Asia, right? If maybe I can get 80 to 100 and then we'll be able to finish our achievements. I'm gonna give it a try. Very confused. Oh yeah, that's a lot more people. Super hentai red, huh? It's just a dude with a latte and a box on his head and I, I don't wanna know what he's got around his crotch, but kill them all. That's what I like to hear. Wait a minute. Why is there poop in the street? There's, there's poop all over the place. Who's running around pooping? Oh my God, he's got a huge purple wand. The boss is over in the west. We are gonna have a strong eastern front where the infection begins and then we're gonna sweep across. Who is throwing uh, nuclear panties at us? What? Okay, uh, they just wiped out everybody. They just killed them all. What is happening right now? Go bloopers, get them. Use your fat stomachs. Oh, I should have brought more zombies. I should have brought stronger zombies. Nope. We're good. We got him. So he was hurling nuclear panties at us, and we managed to fight through it. Wait, there's more of them. There's, they got guns. And, and, the, and the wand. Oh, right. There is the wand guy. Weird. Okay, this is a problem. This is definitely, eh, how about that? How about we just drop some of that? You can have some more zombies on you. <laughs> Come on, zombies, you can do it. I believe in you. Like, it's out of my hands. There isn't a whole lot I can do here, except for maybe grenading you. That didn't really get the job done, guys. Okay, there's, there's one left. It's just the guy with the wand. Everybody feel like a zombie before coffee. Good one. That was humorous. Get him. Get him, muscly man. Just punch him in his stupid boxy head. Yes! <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> what was that? I'm... I'm so confused and yet aroused. Boss killed. That's what I like to see. Okay, come on. Give me something good. Hey! Berserkers are pretty high level. Okay. I like that. Also, appreciating the effort that you put through to celebrate my victory, ma'am. <laughs> and we got the kill 50 humans, spawn all the zombies, now we need to use landmines, six blobbers. Okay. Good, good. 
Now we can hopefully get back to the cure. I, I really hope that wasn't a mistake. OWH has developed an experimental vaccine hoping that it could reduce the spread of infection. Very good, okay, where's that? Nowhere? So are people just less likely to be infected now? Because that would be a huge freaking bummer. Okay, well we need to go here no matter what. Which of you are scientists? Does anybody here know anything about science, medicine, anything like that? I would like you to die first, please. How about we just drop the infection right there? Um, I'm gonna need to open these doors because I need people to be able to get in. And then I think I can grenade here. Oh crap, oh crap, we need zombies, we need zombies, we need zombies. You can't be taken over without any zombies. There we go, we can put some of them in here in the back. I used a grenade to blow out these walls so that everybody's kind of running around. I need a nice open area for people to sprint and hopefully get touched by Freddy. That, that's exactly what we're looking for. More blobbers, bloobers. Oh, they have butt cracks. <laughs> I haven't seen their back before. I shouldn't waste them, but at the same time I need to use them, so we'll just get them out there. Is it that hard to find pants for a giant zombie? Like, it, it shouldn't be this complicated, but I think we got everything completed? There we go, okay. Everything is going according to plan. Panic level has gone up again, that's fine, I suppose. And, eh, not a whole lot. What? <laughs> Escape patient in South America. There's nothing to worry about, yet. A patient escaped from hospital and attacked several people. Okay, so South America has no idea what's going on. They're cut off from the rest of the world. They don't realize that North America is just devastated. Pretty sure Southeast Asia is gone. Just, they're not picking up the phone anymore kind of thing. Didn't use landmines. Completely forgot about the landmines. Should have done that. 88%. I don't like how this is looking. So I think we get two notches every time we beat them. So we need one, two, three more. And they're going up by like five to 10% every time. This is gonna be tricky. This is gonna come right down to the wire. I swear, if it's because I went after hentai nerd that I lose this, I'm, I'm gonna be upset. Have you ever looked really closely at these guys and noticed that they're all identical? Like everybody is just running around with the same stupid little mustache and comb over hair and then they become the same zombie, I guess, when you really think about it. Go Blobbers, just, just be sure to explode in the crowd and turn everybody, that would be great. Put you guys up here. I try not to use my special zombies too quickly because it just makes stuff go by too fast. I'm overpowered right now, that's the issue. Oh, landmines, can't believe I forgot about landmines. We got two people there. Damn, I'm supposed to start off with the landmines or else this happens. Mission accomplished, good job. I'm sure everybody that was out camping today was working on the cure. My zombies are effective, but not smart. So now that we're done with Blobber, how about we switch out for a zombie that we haven't used much of yet? I'm thinking military. They're pretty sweet. We can chalk them in there and then I can level up my base zombies again. Okay, level four, good. And I don't think I need any upgrades, but the cure went up by 8%. I am so screwed. I am absolutely screwed. There's no way I can get this done in time, right? Because they only need to go up by 4%. Oh, this is devastating. If I didn't go after the super hentai nerd, I would have been fine. Right, it seems pretty hopeless, I'm not gonna lie, but we're not gonna give up, okay? A zombie never gives up. That's the motto of zombie kind, and we're gonna... Yo, okay, they really didn't appreciate that. Maybe I should get some zombies in here. <laughs> that was a whole lot of land mining. There we go. That should definitely take care of that accomplishment. Uh, we get some military going. They remind me of the Yeti. I really hope the Yeti is in this game. He was my favorite. Just kind of smashes people and throws them into the atmosphere. That'd be wonderful. Okay, guys, stop running away, okay? You're, you're ruining all my fun. Please just die. There we go. Anybody left? You guys are sprinting over here. I should be collecting these coins, but I feel like I get them pretty well automatically. Like every now and then I get a coin collector that just gets it for me. Good, is that everybody? All humans killed, great, perfect, okay, there we go. So, oh, that's only two. I need two more and I would have gotten two more. Oh God, this is just the worst. Please don't finish your cure. Three berserkers, that's a good card. Police patrol in South America. Police are now guarding the area. Due to recent attacks, police patrols are increased. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, uh, please no cure, please no cure, please no cure. Oh, please no cure, don't do it. Oh, they're at uh, 104. Wait, what? 
I am about as confused as my hair is right now. Can you please just, just not, okay, I'm dealing with stuff. There we go, thank you. So I, I feel like I've noticed this before. I feel like I learned this in a past episode and because it's been such a long time, I just completely forgot, but apparently they're working towards a thousand. The entire planet needs to reach a thousand for the cure. I thought it was individual countries going from zero to a hundred and once they reach a hundred, they're done because that's how it worked in Infectinator 1? No, that, that's how it worked in Plague Inc. That's what it was. But that's not this game, so we still have a chance. We can also fight Pablo Escargo. No, we'll get to that later. Right now, we need to kill 20 non-civilians and use three canisters and spawn a bunch of zombies. I'm liking that the levels are getting quite a bit bigger. I want more people. 40 people is a decent number, and I think I need to use canisters, right? Oh yeah, there's a good looking canister down there. And there's a good looking canister down there. <laughs> and we can probably infect up here. Who's shooting? You guys are shooting? You can get Freddy to touch your butts. How about that? And uh, there we go. And then Jason can probably not do anything. You're not needed, Jason. Everything is taken care of. Oh, there's one guy, there's a runner. There we go, we got him. <laughs> okay, so once again, we show up to the park. People are camping, having a good time, rubbing their shotguns, I, I guess. Either way, they're wiped out. And now they don't get to work on a cure, infection level up. What? Oh, because that was my final time, I see. That's a whole lot of panic level. That's a lot of panic. Uh-huh, okay, mm, not bad. Six zombies, 2,000 gold. You see, sometimes you get good stuff, sometimes you get 100 gold, and that's it. Unknown outbreak in South America. Hazmat teams are now deployed in the region. You guys are a little too late, I think. Doctors in the region have detected an outbreak of a mysterious pathogen. Hazmat team deployed to collect samples. Okay. Good, lots of money. But, are they wiped out? How are we doing? 105. So they went up one more, and I think now we finished, now we finished them off. Kill them all, wipe them out, cure will be done. I feel like my zombies do a really good job of killing people and not a really good job of infecting people. So how about we get some more zombies, some different kinds of zombies coming in. We can restock all this crap. Special zombies. Oh, I have enough for a DNA upgrade. Okay, I really don't like these blue and pinkish purple ones because they only upgrade stats which I could just do in the stats upgrades with my money, but for this, I would much rather get something like Jump Scare. We unlock that, we add that to the genome, then we get Jock? They'll break your face, steal your lunch money, and shove you in a locker. Okay, as well as Leaper. It's quick and it can jump too. Nice, okay, that was interesting, special zombies. Um, where are these? Oh, here we go, Jock. So that's a mix of a brute and a leaper. And then the leaper is the basic version we get from, okay, so we're gonna make a couple of leapers and then a couple of jocks, we're gonna bring jocks with us and then I'm gonna bring some leapers too. They can go in there. Yeah, I like that. We can bring some new zombies for once. Now leaper, I know it's your first day on the job and it's a big first day. Okay, we gotta kill them all. We gotta wipe out the country. We gotta eliminate the cure. It's all very important, but I'm gonna get you in there and you're gonna leap around and cause a whole lot of problems. Go jock. <laughs> Go, Leaper! I should probably use the infection as well, give them a little bit of help. I just want to see what they... They don't really do a whole lot, it seems. They just kind of get smooshed by all the people with guns. Oh, man. Okay, we get some special zombies in there as well. And then I think we should be all right? Maybe. I'm hearing a lot of gunfire, which is never a good thing. Uh, where's the gunfire? Who's who's shooting right now? Maybe we can... Uh, there we go. A little bit of help. Couple more zombies. Come on, Leaper, it's up to you. I was told you were quick. Where are you going? The guy is over here. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, you know what? I got him. I got him. It's his first day. Everything has been wiped out. Everything has been destroyed. That should wipe out that research, I hope. Right, okay, some decent zombies. Good, good. And moving on, region destroyed. Good. Armed civilians in South America. Yeah, nothing new there. And... Research intensifies. Ooh, that's not good. They're increasing their funding, huh? Yeah, well, my zombies are getting better funded as well, so you can suck it. Where are we going now? Where's the cure go? Okay, it's in Europe now. <laughs> you just can't avoid it, man. But 
So you know it went down like 50. Unexplained riots in Canada. Riot police deployed in affected cities. A series of random riots have occurred in the city. I am so proud of my zombies right now. Not only because they're taking over my home nation, but also because look, they've learned to write. They know math. It might only be one plus one, but that's really difficult when you eat more brains than you have. I'm honestly curious if the humans are ever gonna clue in to the fact that this is like a very intelligent, precise attack. Like, it's not just a random outbreak. I had an outbreak in North America, and I did a bunch of damage, and then it kinda hasn't progressed, because I moved on to exactly where the cure was being developed every time. That's where the most devastation occurs. It's not by random chance, guys. I, humans, man, they're just freaking stupid. I'm so happy I'm replacing all of them with zombies, so we need to move our way up to Eurasia? Whatever countries these are? Where do we want to go? Uh, not sure I want to screw with Russia, but at the same time, I think there might be a lot of nations here. Yeah, you know what, screw it. Let's go with, uh, Sharia Zinc. Yeah, that one. I kind of wish the difficulty in the game would scale from nation to nation. Like, this is the same level of difficulty as the very first level. It's only kill five people. Yeah, there are a lot of people with weapons, sure, but at the same time, I only need to para drop in half a dozen military zombies into Russia. They're really not gonna like that. <laughs> but the point being, I wish there were like 100 or 200 people for me to try to wipe out to make things more interesting. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Infectinator 3, guys. And once again, I started off the episode with a cure to deal with, and I did, and another cure pops up. It's like cure whack-a-mole, I just can't deal with it, but we will deal with it. Next episode, which there will be, okay, I promise, I'll play the game more, I'll try to remember, but I'm gonna come back, we're gonna wipe out the cure, we're gonna finish humanity, we're gonna stare at the news reporter lady, it's gonna be awesome. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.